What's happening YouTube? My name is Ryan and today on Tricro Studios, I'm going to show you how you can fix some scratchy amp pots. I'd like to apologize for the camera audio, uh, but I just decided to, it was something I was going to do anyway and I didn't really want to set everything up. Um, so yeah, you're getting camera audio. So, this is my uh, PV3120 amp head, uh, completely out of its housing. I'll show you that in a couple minutes. Um, the reason I have this like this is because all of the uh, potentiometers up here, uh, they're all scratchy, so I've got a bunch of scratchy pots. So if I tried to adjust like the volume or the treble, bass, mids, anything like that, you'd get it would just be really scratchy. And I don't want that, especially since when you're uh, kind of setting up a tone and, and you just want a little bit of something um, when you have uh, scratchy pots you can actually leave it there in a certain spot and it, it can um, it can like mess with the volume or mess with it completely um, and, and you'll get, sometimes you'll just get like, not necessarily a hiss, but uh, it just won't, it won't sound right at all. Uh, and then you, you know, you bump it like a tiny bit and then it sounds all right. So uh, what I like to do, and I'm in Canada, so you'll see that this is Moto Masters from Canadian Tire. I use electrical contact cleaner. <clears throat> okay, so you have to, you can't do this from the front of the amp. You have to actually get inside the potentiometers. So you actually see, I'll try to do a close-up when I actually shoot this in, but you'll see like the potentiometers like that. Well, it's, it's a circle. So you have that um, circle for the potentiometer. There's a little tiny spot that kind of just fits the tip of this in. So you squirt this in and uh, you'll, you'll be a little scared the first time you use it because it's, it looks like you're squirting liquid everywhere, but it, um, dissipates or whatever and it goes away like I had a huge shot right here and it's completely dry so what you do is you squirt this in and then you turn the knob like a bunch and what that does is it goes through and actually cleans the contacts for your potentiometer so um, when you're doing this <clears throat> me like I know I know a lot of people will be like oh it's no it's safe to you know, unplug your amp and then go ahead and do it right away. Uh, there's a reason why I didn't actually do anything showing that uh, the pots are scratchy. I, that's because I just wanted to clean this, and I've had this unplugged for a very long time. Uh, but to me, like I don't, I don't think it's a smart idea to um, play the, you know, play the amp and then unplug it and do it right away. Just let it kind of lose some of its charge and even then even if it's been unplugged for a long time you don't want to really touch anything in here just in case anything holds a charge um i mean when it comes to shocks you could be all right if you get a little bit of shock you could die so let's uh let's be very careful and let's try not to touch anything in here so, uh, I'm going to change the camera angle a little bit and see if I can get a close-up of a potentiometer. Okay, so this is really the best that I can do. Um, but, if you actually look right here, on this potentiometer right here, you'll see the uh, circle I was talking about, or the wheel. And you'll see there's a tiny little hole right there. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this stick and drench it, not necessarily completely drench it, but get enough in there that I know that as I'm turning the actual knob on the front, um, it'll clean the contacts. And right now, you can't see it just because of the camera angle that I have, <clears throat> but uh, it looks like there's liquid coming right down <clears throat> through the amp. Sorry for clearing my throat. And you don't have to do it this much. I mean, I could shoot a little more in there if I wanted. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, I already did start with some of these, so actually I'm cleaning one that I've already cleaned, but to me, um, I'd rather only do this once because it's, it's a pain uh, getting the chassis out or getting it out of its housing. All right, so I have everything cleaned. So all of the um, potentiometers here have been cleaned and I have it plugged in. So like I said before, um, I didn't do a before kind of deal. Uh, I don't even have this back in the housing. Um, the reason I didn't want to do that is because I didn't want to have everything powered on. I wanted to do everything um, within the same like hour or half hour or whatever it took. So, um, believe me, if I, you can hear the guitar now. <laughs> If I did anything so... If I did anything like that at all, all you'd hear would be... And you'd hear a whole bunch of pops. Um, in one case, like I was alluding to earlier, um, my mids, there was like a whole section that it kind of just kind of cut out a little or gave a weird noise. So. a rhythm channel, lead channel, because I did all of them. All right, that's the clean channel. To that interruption from the rest of the guys from Tricro, I'm gonna call it a video. Um, let me know down in the comments what you thought. If you didn't like how I did it, that's fine. Uh, you can let me know how you do it. Um, absolutely, if you're not comfortable with opening up your amp, I suggest you do not open up your amp. Um, I only did it because I have done it before, um, and I it was a couple years ago that I've done my research at that point um, on what may go wrong, including death. Um, this trick also works on anything, any potentiometers that are scratchy. So um, I use this trick all the time on wah pedals. Um, so if you get a wah pedal that's scratchy, check out Kevin's video for it. But this one I find is quicker because you literally just wiggle it back and forth. This is just a great description. See? With the wah pedal. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to TriCro Studios. we got a new video coming out every single Saturday morning. And I lost train of thought because I was trying to talk really fast. 
and my heaters are turning on, which they shouldn't be on, so that's my wife. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Ryan from Tracker Studios. I say good day.